Hi everyone, this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. I'm here today to show you the inflatable unicorn coin toss. I'm using a child's pool and I purchased a package of four inflatable unicorns at Kohl's. I added clear plastic cups to the unicorns because they were cup holders actually and I have my coins. This activity could be used as a carnival activity or a field day activity. If you're doing field day with your students, you know that you probably need to sync their rotations so that there's a mix of strenuous activities with not so strenuous activities. And this would be one of the more quieter, calming, less vigor physically vigorous activities. The object of the activity, of course, is to toss coins into the unicorn's cups. This activity would be for first grade and older, any younger than that, and they're probably going to get frustrated. You might also want to have the, allow the children to come right up to the pool to toss their coins. And now I'm going to demonstrate. That's it. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. I'm back to show you a way that you can modify the unicorn coin toss activity to make it appropriate for pre-K and kindergarten students. All I did was remove the plastic cups that had been inserted in the unicorns and replace them with paper plates, which I taped around the unicorn's neck. I did have to cut a slit in the paper plate. And now I'm going to demonstrate how easy this will be for a young child to use. That's all. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. I'm back to show you how you can make an easy accommodation to the unicorn coin toss activity so that this will work for your pre-K and kindergarten students. I'm going to use a paper plate and I'm going to cut two slits in it so that it's going to end up looking like this. On my unicorn, I'm going to remove the cup and I'm going to put the plate over top around his neck. And I'm also going to use some tape to secure it because once it's in the pool floating around, it may start to move on me. And that's it. And now your pre-K students can do a coin toss and not have the challenge of tossing the coins in a small cup.